Welcome to this informal CNO 194 report this 22nd of November 2014. We have 18 subjects to cover in less than five minutes, so here we go. New natural supplement relieves canine arthritis. A lot of the same items that you find in human products were found put in the canine products and got tremendous uh, basically benefit in regards to arthritis in dogs. Number two. Low levels of DHEA pro-hormone predict coronary heart disease. Ironic, all those years of bad mouth and DHEA, now they're finding out, whoops, uh, better get those levels back up. Number three, moderate coffee consumption may reduce risk of type 2 diabetes by 25%, as if there are not a million other reasons to drink coffee. Britain's obese in denial about their weight. Well, that's enough said. Chemical in coffee may prevent obesity-related disease. Well, if you think about chlorogenic acid, CGA once again, it's being confirmed now that it does have some benefits, which makes you feel bad for Dr. Oz after he got crucified for it. Risk of death may be higher if heart attacks occur in a hospital. Uh, heart attack, basically uh, the acronym called STEMI, had a threefold higher chance of dying in the hospital if you had the heart attack is if you did outside the hospital. I don't know what that says, but you can draw a conjecture from there. 80 million bacteria sealed with a kiss. I was trying to make kissing sound disgusting, but it's normal. Dirty side of soap. Yep, once again, triclosan finds his way into basically unintentionally or unintentionally poisoning most of the population. Up to 97% of women that were lactating had triclosan in the breast milk. Woman's fertility linked to detox element in the diet. Rack up one point for selenium. Make sure your selenium levels are not that low if trying to get pregnant. Nothing fishy about health benefits of plant-based omega-3 fatty acids, self-explanatory. Trans fat consumption is linked to diminished memory in working adults. Diminished memory by about an average of 10% reduction in recall of words. So if you're finding yourself having to repeat yourself often to a significant other or a work colleague, look at their diet. High fructose diet in adolescents may exacerbate, exacerbate depressive-like behavior. As it's not tough enough being a teenager, why not throw something in their diet which just adds fuel to the fire? High fructose, high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, you got it. Research provides new insight into gluten intolerance. Shows how the body's own immune system begins to attack itself when gluten is introduced in large levels. Gut microbiota influence blood-brain barrier permeability. One reason there's certain times that you want to stay away from antibiotics, otherwise no brain protection, which ironically can go all the way into the adulthood of the child born to a mother who is doing antibiotics during pregnancy. Chemical and coffee may help prevent obesity-related disease. Duh, repeat. Healthy diets are good for the kidneys. Duh. Running really can help keep you young. They found out that seniors who ran about several times a week Burnt the same amount of calories that had the same metabolic energy levels as a 20-year-old. So something else about age has to do more with them with numbers. In 18, a, a CNIO team discovers that derivative of B3 prevents liver cancer in mice, nicotinamide riboside. Again, one more way we've cured cancer in mice uh, for the past, I don't know, five decades. This concludes... The informal report of uh, CNL Report 194 releases 22nd November 2014. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Infamous. Bob